It's Valor Fights 24 in Crossville, Tennessee. First time ever Valor Fights here in Crossville. Are you ready for the introductions for our next kickboxers? Back to the cage and Cody Gwynn for our first fighter introduction. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for your next kickboxing bout, this time in the light heavyweight division brought to you by Mad Tatter Tattoo Studio. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, Jeremiah Johnson. Jeremiah Johnson out first making his kickboxing debut. He fights out of Box and B Fit in Cookville, Tennessee. 22 year old, He's trained for a, a year or so, including a stint with Upper Cumberland. He's now working with Brandon Goolsby some. And this light heavyweight, kickboxing bout and making his debut is Jeremiah Johnson. Well, Cookville making their presence felt uh, for the first time really in Valor. You know, uh, Valor has been typically uh, launched in the eastern region of, of Tennessee and, and uh, the eastern part of the United States. Valor, you know, heading out west and, and doing it and getting to see a whole new crop of talent and integrating them into the, the system of uh, of their processes. Yeah, and as, as Valor Fights grows, you're gonna see people from great farther distances wanting to be a part of it. Back to the cage and Cody Gwynn. And please welcome his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, David Robbins. So Jeremiah Johnson's opponent is David Robbins, also making his kickboxing debut. He fights out of MMA Institute in Gracie Barra in Cleveland, Tennessee. He is 24 years old. Three fights in his MMA career. Muay Thai coach at uh, Grace, Gracie Barra as well. Won the Warrior Cup point tournament. He's trained by Jesse Gron and Jeremiah Gurley. Uh, but last fight was two years ago. It was a TKA loss to Jason Kubik in MMA, but now his debut in kickboxing as well. Well, you mentioned Jesse Grun. We know Jesse Grun very well because yep. he fought the war down in Chattanooga uh, with Sid Wheeler, one of the best fights I've ever seen in Valor fights, and then most recently a big victory over Judd Brown. So uh, this is a great coach, this is a great team, and uh, I'm, I'm anxious to see the, the kickboxing prowess uh, from this young talent. Already in the cage, Jeremiah Johnson. And David Robbins getting final check from the staff here at uh, ISKA, all, by, all about sanctioned by ISKA. Our three judges tonight, Tommy Brooks, Marty Willis, and Chandler Goins. And of course, 10 point must system, opponent gets nine points or less. Three two minute rounds for kickboxing. And Vince Farrar along with Casey Oxendine. Cody Gwynn, our cage announcer, and Valor Fights President Tim Loy has done an amazing job in putting together so many great bouts and a lot more next Saturday, August, September. I mean, we got a lot coming up. Well, that's consistency, and you don't see it a whole lot in regional MMA or in MMA in general. You don't see that kind of consistency. That's what sets Valor apart. It's every weekend. It's nonstop action, and you really get to see the growth of the rankings, the, the growth of uh, the entire system, and to really determine who the best really are. And you, if you go to ValorFights.com, rankings now for yeah. all the divisions in, uh, in among the amateurs so far. Absolutely. Yeah, so you can check that out much more on all the, the fighters' interviews and much more, ValorFights.com. Into the cage. Dave Roberts, and let's go back to the cage, our fighter introductions, Cody Gwynn. We're a little bit smoky in here if you notice that alarm, but I think we're okay. And it is time for your next bout in the light heavyweight kickboxing division, brought to you by Mad Tanner Studio. Interesting first, fighting out of the red corner. Tonight he makes his kickboxing debut. He went in 172 pounds, but he got a Cookville, Tennessee, and representing boxing fit, Jeremiah Johnson. Standing across the cage tonight, fighting out of the blue corner. He also makes his kickboxing debut. He went in 178 pounds, but he got a date in Tennessee and representing the American Killer Bees, 
David Robbins. Jeremiah Johnson in the black and red trunks. David Robbins in the black and yellow trunks. This kickboxing bout brought to you by Mad Tatter Studio. It's light heavyweight kickboxing bout at 179 pounds. Three two-minute rounds, and we are underway. And David Robbins with a tremendous reach advantage. And wow, that right leg kick, it found its mark. Robbins' heavy hands looks like early on. We did see Jeremiah Johnson go down briefly in a and head again. kick. again. Straight up the pipe. The legs. <laughs> Wow. The legs of David Robbins are lethal here. Goodness, clean shot. Standing count right now from our referee, Jason King. And he's now say something about the American Killer Bees. They, uh, they have the same roots as one of the greats, Anderson Silva. Uh, that's uh, Israel Gomez. Uh, that group, uh, Israel Gomez has had a, a tremendous effect on this region as he was here uh, in this area teaching for a long time. And uh, he's a tremendous coach. And uh, no doubt, uh, the root of uh, this young man's this young man's prowess uh, with his kicks. Robbins, though, heavy kicks. Even with Jeremiah Johnson on the attack since he was knocked down with the kick. Well, and, and look how beautiful, you know, uh, you, you can see a, a huge difference here. You, you've got Jeremiah Johnson just moving in, throwing the hands. But David Robbins, you know, he's, he'll throw a few of the hands. Here come the kicks, and the kicks are like dynamite. And, boy, he is so accurate with his strikes, too, even when he's backing up. Yeah. He's able to counter. And a break here. And we'll restart final seconds of round number oh, one. Oh, another one. To the inside of the left knee of Jeremiah Johnson. Is that a knockdown or did he call it a slip? I don't know, but he just tapped him with another one. And you know, he's going down in, in severe pain. To, to do that in shin guards shows a tremendous amount of, of power on the part of David Robinson, those kicks. Yeah, I'm not sure those last two times necessarily they were knockdowns, but clearly that was that round was a won. A tremendous by amount Robinson. of force, you know, and it, it depends on how the referee scores it. Uh, sometimes, uh, you know, you, you have what they call fighting spirit in, in Muay Thai and, and K1 kickboxing. If you, you know, because your legs are up off the ground, if, if you throw a kick or you, you kind of trip up, if you pop up really quick, a lot of times they won't call the uh, call the count. But in, in this case, man, it was it was all Robbins. I mean, look oh. at that. That left teep to the mouth, that that found its, it found its mark. <laughs> there, there's no, uh, there's no protection straight down the middle. Uh, with the headgear, but just a clean shot. Robin's really, yeah. really accurate. That first that. round, potentially uh, the start of a highlight reel for David Robbins. Do, do we see many 10-8 rounds in uh, in kickboxing? Do they go to those lengths? I, I think if you, uh, I think you automatically on a, on a legit knockdown, it's an automatic 10-8. Yeah, he did have one for sure. Oh, oh. Wow. and you heard that? Wow. Even though Jeremiah Johnson. He's still on the attack. Another shot. Oh, the there it is. Right head kick oh, finds his mark. And then wow. a beautiful left head kick to boot. Man, Robbins is impressive. Getting the count here. Delayed yes after. From yeah, him. tremendous tough, toughness on the part of Jeremiah Johnson, but he is taking a beating here yes and they let him get up i don't think they're gonna give him a no they're not they're, yeah. they won't call it for those those leg kicks yep. uh they they're basically just you know knocking his legs out from under him you know oh, Ooh. clean body shot. and Another again one. look at those beautiful combinations on the part of david robbins down goes and johnson down again. again jeremiah johnson you know you got a three uh uh, Three-time knockdown rule in effect here. If he's down one more time, the fight is done. Yeah, that's officially two, and he's getting a count here. He'll get ass at the end. He's got 45 seconds to survive here. Can David Robbins get the job done? Another straight kick from Robbins. Shot to the body again. Here An absolute Johnson. clinic here by Robbins. Jeremiah Johnson doing what he has to do. That's close the distance. 
Oh, just the, the oh, levels. Oh, and that's down. it. The yep. fight is done. Is that a liver shot? Yes. <laughs> Robbins going to leap up on the cage and celebrate a win in his kickboxing debut. What a display, a clinic from David Robbins. I want to see that again. I want to see that that finish again. <laughs> I, I was kind of off from my vantage point. That was, uh, he just he just crumbled. Yeah. Jeremiah Johnson just crumbled to that body kick. E either way, he was done, whether it, whether it was him being done with the action or whether it was a clean liver shot. Well, uh, actually, yes. Yeah, that actually, that's going to be on the on the left side of the liver shot because that that's the liver shot for yeah. you. Yeah. Beautiful. And usually right there's a the delay, right? Yes, yeah. right under the, the right armpit there. It was yeah. done. Looked like Jeremiah Johnson might try to get back up, but that was three times. Right. And, and boy, Robbins, he'd go from his combinations, kick to the body, uh, punch to the, to the head, then punch to the body, kick to the head. I mean, just... Just tremendous. Back to the cage, Cody Gwynn. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jason King has got a stop to this fight. One minute, 43 seconds in the second round. Your winner by TKO, David.